Good morning children a very warm welcome to the second video of the series of videos for the chapter 1 of math magic book we have talked about the shape of fishes and now we are going to talk about the fishermen the boats they use how the boats became advanced how when the boat became boats became advanced the speed of the boat increased the amount of fish caught by the boats that was more in the advanced boats and now i have pre prepared a presentation to explain all these facts so children let us see the presentation and simultaneously i am going to explain you everything about fishermen the boats their speeds their catch and many more things let's see the presentation we all love fish they are of different colors and they look so beautiful so many of us have aquariums at home and we can look at fish for hours and hours together and not get bored so children we talked about different shapes of fish this is a starfish if we want to draw a starfish how we are going to do we will draw a star a star is also a geometrical shape it is a polygon polygon is a closed figure made of straight line segments and this is also a closed figure and it has been made with line segments like we have triangles quadrilaterals pentagon hexagon same way we also have a star and star is also a polygon let us count how many sides are there in a star we start from this side so this is side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 there are 10 sides in a star so a star is a decagon deca means 10 and gun means a closed figure decagon means 10 sided closed figure okay so to draw this kind of fish i have used four triangles can you see these four triangles i have used also i have used a rectangle that means a four sided figure which has opposite sides equal is a rectangle also for the tail i have used this polygon it is also made of straight line segments let us count how many line segments does it have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 do you remember six sided polygon what is the name of the six sided polygon yes it's hexagon but here the shape of hexagon is entirely different from what you are familiar with but this is also a hexagon so how we have made the starfish and this fish with the help of geometrical figures you have already seen now let us talk about the sizes of fish fish are of different size now smallest fish in the world can be as small as less than 1 cm it is few millimeters long and it can fit on the tip of your finger you can see this this is a finger and it is the fish the largest fish is whale shark this is so big that this diver which is diving right in front of the whale shark is looking so tiny in front of whale shark so whale shark can be as long as 18 meters long so now you must be wondering what is a, how much is 18 meters so 
I'm going to give you a fair idea of how much is 18 meter. Children, twelve children of your size, if stand one on top of the other, you people will make a tower. That will be a very high tower. Twelve feet, children standing on top of other one another. So that tower, the length of that tower will approximately be eighteen meters. So now you can imagine, if twelve of your friends stand one on top of other, the tower will be 18 meter high. Now children, the approximate weight of a whale shark is 16,000 kilograms. I am sure you must have seen one kilogram weight made of iron which we showed you in the laboratory in class 4. Also, this one kilogram weight is there with all the vegetable sellers and fruit sellers, they also use it. So whale shark is as heavy as 16,000 those weights. 16,000 weights of 1 kilograms will make one whale shark. Can you imagine how heavy the weight of, of a whale shark is? Now, the approximate weight of one child of your age is 30 kilograms. Some children may be he heavier than 30 kilograms. Some children may be lighter than 30 kilograms. The ones who are thinner, they can be almost 25 kilograms or 27 kilograms or 28 kilograms. The ones who are more than 30 kilogram, they can be either 32, 33 or so on. So the approximate weight of one child of your age is 30 kilograms. The weight of 12 such children will be 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30. 12 times you have to add 30. And when we do repeated addition, if we are adding 12 times 30, we are doing repeated addition. So repeated addition, what is it? It is multiplication. So if you want to calculate the weight of 12 children, you have to multiply 30 by 12. How do we multiply 30 by 12? It is so easy. 12 threes are 36. And since we are multiplying by 30, 1 0 will come at the back. So 12 30s are 360 kilograms. So dear children, 12 of your friends together will weigh 360 kilograms. Let us now compare the weight of 12 of you with the weight of whale shark. How are we going to compare that? We are going to compare that by subtracting the weight of 12 children from the weight of whale shark. That means 16,000 minus 360 kilograms which is equal to 15,640 kilograms. Can you imagine how heavy whale shark is from 12 of you taken together very very heavy okay children let us talk about the sea many of you would have seen the sea when you visited any coastal area like mumbai goa trivandrum kanyakumari for a holiday or maybe your parents got posted to a seashore, then you must have seen the sea. Some of you have seen the sea in videos or movies. And sea is very, very deep. Do you know how deep is the sea? See, we know about two seas, Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal. Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal, they touch the shores of India. 
in EVS, you must have studied about them. And I'm sure you know about these two. The depth of Arabian Sea is approximately 2734 meters. And the depth of Bay of Bengal is approximately 2800 meters. Now you must be wondering how deep that is. Okay, so I am going to tell you to recall what is the what is one kilometer equal to in meters? One kilometer is equal to one, one thousand meter. Two kilometer is equal to 2000 meter. 3 kilometer is equal to 3000 meter. So children, this 2734 meter is slightly less than 3 kilometer and 2800 meter is also slightly less than 3 kilometer. Can you imagine how deep Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal is? If you are finding it difficult to imagine how much is 3 kilometer, ask your parents. They will give you some idea of how big 3 kilometer is. They will tell you about a place which is almost 3 kilometers from your house. Okay, now let us talk about something which is your favorite and that is sea waves. You love to play in sea waves when you go to the seashore. You make castles in the sand, don't you? And you run around in the sea waves and you run towards the shore when the waves come towards the shore, it is so much fun. Children, sea waves go very, very high. They can go approximately as high as 3 meters. And you know children, always the elders say, don't go near the sea at night. Do you know why do they say so? Because at night, sea waves go even more high and it is very dangerous to go near the sea at night. So, we must not go near the sea at night. Okay, we have learned so much about fish, sea. Let us do a fun question now. You have to find out what is the difference between shoal of fish and school of fish? So I suggest look for it and I know you are going to look for this answer. You are going to ask the Google uncle. No problems, but do it yourself. Don't tell your parents to do it because you should know. How to use Google? Okay, children. So, I am going to tell the answer to this question in my next video. Till then, enjoy yourself. Have a nice time. Bye, children.